So, hello everyone. I'm Rainier Tasico from the Philippines and I'm from the Ministry of Mapping, also part of the Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative Network and the Climate Reality Project here in the Philippines as well. So, as part of the Ministry of Mapping, I would like to share our initiative or something that I would like to share to all of you here on the MOC COP26, which is the MOP today, uh, MOP for tomorrow, and data saves lives. So before that, uh, by the way, I'm from the Philippines, and though there are so much um, things happened here, uh, this 2020s before the pandemic, aside from adding up any uh, natural hazards. So what are they? And by the way, um, Philippines is the second most vulnerable up to date, the most vulnerable to climate change in the world. Yeah. So so what are the natural hazards so these are things that are phenomenal happened uh, here in the Philippines or around the globe though what we have faced here in the Philippines is that we faced Typhoon Haiyan last few years ago then right now the Mulave and Goni which um, images shows um, the Lahar in Kinabatan, though some of these images uh, came from the ABS CBN. Next, um, so regarding the natural hazards, and this the uh, images from also from uh, internet and ABS CBN as well. So South volcano eruption before the pandemic. And with that being said, the, tri the tropical cyclone density and tracks uh, from 1884 to 28. So with that being said, the uh, most vulnerable to climate changes, the Philippines uh, makes its second from the globe. Uh, credits to uh, brother Bernard Arlan Rakoma, or we call him BA. And next, okay, with this, uh, achieving the audacious project of the humanitarian open street map, um, mapping people, mapping for the people in need, uh, mapping for the people, and mapping by the people and we map for the future. So, uh, by the way, the, I just made that tagline and source from the humanitarian open street map team. So let's start mapping. So then um, with this uh, deep plan and activities for, I hope as part of the youth here in the Maxio P26 that uh, we, uh, plan to equip local communities across the country with basic mapping, contribution skills on the open street map, um, participation and mapping activities hosted by the Ministry of Mapping with its collaborators for the communities. Uh, special mapping the buildings, forests, roads, and further land use. So here, um, what we've done with the map text that uh, we mapped the Sultan Sabarongis in Maguindanao from the Bangsamoro region in Mindanao. Yeah. So this uh, we use a satellite imagery in the humanitarian open street map and the tasking manager. Then next. Uh, with an objective that to equip the environmental advocates, especially the youth. Uh, the Sangguniang Kabataan or the Youth Council here in the Philippines and the Barangay officials support 
of the local government with basic mapping skills for the community using the Sendai framework to the vulnerable and hazard prone areas in the Philippines. So, uh, okay, so the Sendai framework is much more on uh, connecting the uh, healthcare facilities here in the country as, as well, though, which also uh, um, we are doing in the uh, MAPEX projects that uh, we are also um, mapping the HIV facilities uh, towards an accessible uh, and uh, informative uh, locations aside from MAPEX and the mental health facilities. So that being said, uh, going to the next slide. So with that, uh, the equipment and materials here in these activities or these initiatives, the reliable internet connection, laptop or computer, though it could be a cell phone, also uh, it has then installed uh, open source softwares as well, it would be good. And then satellite imagery from other open source organizations. So uh, this is what we do also here in the organizations like MapMex or in the OpenStreetMap team. We map uh, or we create also uh, maps from the satellite imagery, the opposite. So that <clears throat> Delaware. So uh, acknowledging this uh, initiative by the um, Pacific Disaster Center. The, it's more on the Philippines, though, um, as part of the uh, Pacific Ring as well, the Philippines. Yeah. So this is a collaboration between the USE, then Department of National Defense, and the Pacific Disaster Center. Yeah, the Office, Office of Civil Defense, sorry. Uh, correction for that. Then, um, harnessing the, uh, the youth's potential on towards the disaster reduction and disaster reduction uh, efforts and potential to responses as well. So like us, the map decks, uh, we, we also uh, map safe spaces, uh, HIV facilities, and some unmapped areas in the country, such as Romblon in Picol, Right now, Goni, then uh, past few weeks, in, yeah, the one earlier from the Maguindanao in, in Mindanao in, of the Bangsamoro region. Then, yeah, this, okay, the Philippine HIV facilities and support group, uh, which we are doing right now in the MAPBEX. Then also uh, this, just earlier we made this one uh, we we map or teaching teach everyone to map as well um, in the humanitarian open street map team uh, much more on land use. So basically we use the satellite imagery of the Maxar then if we can find anything or more on validation, then we use also the being, the being aerial imagery aside from uh, from other uh, cross validation sources for the the imagery used, such as news or other um, other areas as well, such our collaborators, especially in the disaster risk. Uh, officers or the LGUs. So moving on, uh, this is the team of the mental health awareness. 
uh, led by Andy Tabinas. By the way, uh, D, Mapdex led by Miko Tamura. Then, mental health awareness. What, did, what do they do? Is that they also uh, map uh, mental health facilities in the Philippines. Then, next, D. Another potential to tap as well as as a youth here in we map as uh, the youth map in Pampanga with uh, organizations like the FEU Alabang Youth Mappers, UP Society of Geodetic Engineering Majors, or UPJO, uh, which they map buildings and contributed in the OpenStreetMap community. By the way, it's uh, led by the humanitarian open street map team, Philippi, and the thinking machines. Though um, in Pampanga, Pay and Dal's team first uh, handled it around 2013 before the humanitarian open street map team did. So recently, we've mapped the last, last March for the Quezon City. And what are the all the seven statistics from the uh, okay from the contributions in the open street map um by the youth uh, no rather participating by the youth as well by us so so by the way uh, what makes the Philippines unique is that to other countries that we have the Youth Council or what we call the Sangon Ang Kabataan, which is led by the um, by an SK chairman uh, from the age range of the 18, 18 years old to 24 years old towards youth growth and engagement. So what if we tap the youth or uh, youth councils as well in other countries such as yours? or um, more on policies for tourism civic engagement as well so or disaster is reduction yeah so next so here we have the dilg then the lgs sk federation and so this is the dilg leading the lgus the by the way the dilg stands for the department of interior and local governance and then LG stands for the local government units, then and that's the SK federations, then for the the end of the SK chairmans, and then the SK chairmans handles the SKs of each barangay. So um the LYD and LDC is not really important here, but hmm, may subject to change in other countries. So moving on, uh, here are the tools that I would like to um, share as well here in the Philippines that we have the hazard and theories, gov.ph, the mapdex, and then the mentalhealthawareness.com, and the pwapilipinas.org, and the bagong pag-asa as well. So let's look for that as well. And here are my references. So before I end this presentation, I would like to thank my friends, uh, Brian Gonzalez and my colleagues from the Ministry of MAPI, especially in David Garcia and Pico Tamura. So that, thank you.